Good morning. Well, the days are getting longer now and a bit warmer and the birds are singing. They're singing to attract a mate and to define their territories. Well, you may know that there are several free apps that you can download to your phone to help you to identify the bird songs that you hear. Well, I've tried several of these and uh, the one that works best for me was recommended to me by, uh, by a bird watcher who knew his stuff about birds and uh, this app is called Merlin. Merlin was developed by a team at Cornell University in the US. I should say at this point that I have no association with Cornell or the Merlin app and I'm not being paid to make this video. Once you've downloaded the Merlin app onto your phone you need to set up your account. Once you've done this the next thing to do is to load up the birdsong database for your area. Click on settings at the bottom of the screen and in the new screen you'll see a section called bird packs. Click on this and under the all tab you'll see that there are loads of birdsong databases from around the world. There's also a recommended tab and this gives you the suggested database for your area assuming that you have your location turned on on your phone. I'm in Britain and you'll see that there are three recommended databases and I've downloaded all three onto my phone. We can see these under the installed tab. I suggest that you download the databases that Merlin recommends. By the way, if you're going abroad on holiday, check to see if there is a database for the country where you're going. Once you've downloaded your databases, then you're good to go. Click on the identify icon at the bottom of the screen and you'll see this screen. You can see that there are three different ways to identify birds. In this video, we're concentrating on sound ID. There's also step-by-step -step ID, which helps you to identify a bird that you've seen. This takes you through a number of screens with questions to narrow down the options. and Photo ID, which identifies a bird from a photo. But we're concentrating on birdsong in this video, so click on Sound ID and the app will listen out for any birds that are singing. As we're currently in my house, we won't pick up many bird songs. So let's go back out into the woods and see what we can hear. Well, we're back out in the woods now and uh, I can hear some birds in the background twittering away. Nothing terribly distinct. So uh, let's see what Merlin picks up. Merlin's picked up a blackbird and a robin so far. You'll notice that as a particular bird sings, its strip turns yellow. When that bird stops singing, the strip reverts to white. Now we've picked up a siskin song. Once we end the recording, the new screen shows us the birds that Merlin's picked up. If we click on the arrow next to one of the birds, we can hear other reference examples of the same bird's song, which have been saved on Merlin's database. This is an example of the siskin song. Well, I can hear a song thrush singing quite close to me now, so uh, I'll uh, put Merlin on and uh, see if it picks it up. Well that was interesting, we got a, a missile thrush and a song thrush. I'm not sure which bird I heard first, I think it could have been the missile thrush actually. Uh, so uh, Merlin picked up both amongst, uh, amongst other birds as well. We're quite close to a road now, you might be able to uh, hear that in the background. But I can hear a song thrush, so uh, let's uh, try Merlin now and uh, see what it picks up.
Well, that wasn't bad, was it? Merlin picked up our song thrush and a robin, even with the background noise of the traffic. I'm pretty impressed with that. Well, there's a few uh, birdsong captures uh, from Merlin. Uh, I hope you find that interesting. You might, uh, you might not be able to identify the individual bird songs when you're out. In fact, it's very difficult to do that in most cases. But it does give you appreciation of the birds that are around you as you, uh, as you walk through the woods. Well, that's a look at the uh, Merlin Birdsong app. If you haven't got an app on your phone and uh, you're interested, then uh, I recommend that you give Merlin a try. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. Thanks for watching.